So it is officially 2022, and there are some questions to be asked this year, and such as why DICE made a Battlefield game that doesn't really seem to be Battlefield, or why I'm drinking iced coffee when it's 9 degrees. I, I really don't know the answers to all these questions, uh, but what I do know is that if the Battlefield franchise was something that you, like myself, maybe became interested in the gaming community the way you might be now, uh, this franchise was something that you always stuck with, even if the game had a rocky release, you knew it would get better because it always did. Now with 2042, so much of the core Battlefield gameplay experience has been eliminated from the game on purpose that even if they get the game working properly, I'm not sure if it could ever feel right to a lot of people. Now that doesn't necessarily mean the game is bad in and of itself, but it does mean, and I think a lot of people could agree with this, um, that if you're a fan of Battlefield, it's just never going to be right unless the whole core gameplay experience is completely changed. But with that in mind, the reason that we're here today is because of something called BF3 Reality Mod. Now, you might be familiar with Project Reality, which was a BF2 mod that essentially spawned the game Squad. And by its name, you might be able to tell that it's going to be a more milsim experience. Um, built within the Battlefield world uh, using the same Frostbite engine that BF3 was built on, but it's going to just add more milsim and realistic components to it, such as higher TTK, um, more squad command options, um, and larger, more unrestricted maps, as including uh, what they hope uh, to be 100 players um, as well, although that's yet to be uh, completely uh, confirmed it's a small team working on it so they're doing everything they can but they've got this thing working and this was hinted at over a year ago or just about a year ago and now they've released a, an official gameplay trailer which I'm gonna play for you now and we might dive into a little bit of the specifics of that going forward but the whole reason for this today is because if you were like me and always loved and got excited for battlefield releases and you were incredibly disappointed this year there might be a little bit of saving grace Push around south, maybe to the flop. I think I want to push to the marker. They're in context. Oh shit, they got wiped. They got completely wiped up close. Squad leads. Let's support them. We move to the marker and then we push and help them. Let's go. Or actually push to the marker directly. We support them. Close quarters. Let's go. They got completely fucking white. Holy shit. Enemy on me. Who's me? Done. Okay, that's on the marker. Okay, I have contacts in front. On me. Gone. Enemies in the building on the marker. The ground floor marker. You good down? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna toss some grenades there as well. Find the container. In the building, in the building. Shoot a rocket into the building. Yeah, in the building. Please, please do that now. Shoot another one if you can. Yeah, that ball. Reload. Reloading. Perfect. Grenade out. I'm gonna need a medic. Trey, can you get me? I'm covering. Should be pretty. Okay, guys, I want to. I want this to push and get con like getting control of that building. Let's go. Fire spell. Let's go. Don, you have a very interesting strategy. Keeping fire priority. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> 
Alright, let's go. Ah, it looks good. There are a lot of them in here. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, yeah. Good rocket. Killed one. They were just outside. Okay, clear the hill. There's still enemies on top here. Okay, in the in the little shed. Two guys in the shed. Two guys in here. Oh, oh my god, me. he just comes. 